Hello and welcome to the Cornwall Report's news briefing for Tuesday the 12th of March. The local media headlines today. It's pretty rare for Cornwall's planners to say no to anything and even more unusual for them to turn down a solar farm. All that green energy, what's not to like? But a relatively small solar farm to the west of Truro was refused permission yesterday against the advice of Cornwall Council officials. Planners were tied at four votes each and so the chairman cast his deciding vote for refusal. Meanwhile, at Newquay, the officials were taking no such risks, approving a large hotel and apartment application without letting councillors anywhere near it. Several hundred people had objected to the proposal. That's why it'll be interesting to see who comes out on top next week when there's a similar planning battle over the future of Lost With Eels golf course. The Labour Party's finally got a candidate for the St Austell and Newquay constituency and the very best of luck to David Rodder, who after decades of toiling in the vineyards at County Hall has a six-month secondment to Truro City Council. Everybody says this is perfectly normal and there's no need to get excited. The BBC had good news for people from the Isles of Scilly who need hospital treatment in Truro. An island charity has raised money to buy a house near the Royal Cornwall Hospital so that families and other visitors can have somewhere to stay. Pirate FM said that South West Water's doing its best to stop polluting rivers and beaches. Honest. The Falmouth Packet says the recent heavy rain has been good news for people who collect it. The Cornish Times had a list of roadworks and finally Cornwall Live lamented the loss of some of Newquay's seamier nightlife. And those are the local media headlines for now. Thank you very much for watching. Please share this video on social media. I'll be back again tomorrow. See you then. Bye bye.